Hello and welcome to the tutorial on more than and less than. In this tutorial we're going to cover hundreds and we're going to do numbers up to 10,000. So hundreds, numbers up to 10,000. Let's have a look at our first example. Suppose we have this number 3921. So we've got number 3921. Now the question is what is 100 more than 3,921. Firstly, let's write the number down. 3,921. Are we going to go forwards or backwards? Well, we're going to count forwards because we're doing more than. And note, in 100, there are two zeros. That means that these two numbers, these two digits, are not going to change. The two one are going to remain. So we can write those down now. As for the hundreds, we have to go up by one. Because this digit here is a nine, we're going to combine the two together. So it looks like 39. Don't forget, in this number, there are three thousands and nine hundreds. But we can also say there are 39 hundreds. 39 hundreds. So now if we are counting forwards, we're counting forwards from 39 and we're counting forwards by the 1 over here. So 39 counting forward by 1 is 40. And that is our answer. 100 more than 3921 is 4021. That is correct. Work through the example again if you did not understand that. But we'll work through a similar example again soon. Now on this side, we're going to look at, the question is, what is 100 less than 3,921? Well, the first thing, let's write the number down. 3,921. Are we going to count forwards or backwards? Well, it's less than. So therefore, we're going to count backwards. And note the two zeros. And the same thing applies. The 2, 1 doesn't change because we're going backwards by 0, 0. So we can write those down, 2, 1. As for the 1, we can either look at the number 3, 9 here together or, on its, or 1 by 1. Let's look at it as 1 by 1. So the 9. The 9 has to go back by 1. So counting back from 9, the number is 8. The 3 is not going back by anything, because there's nothing here in the thousands column. So therefore, that remains as 3. And that is our answer. 100 less than 3,921 is 3,821. Now, incidentally, we could have looked at this number here, 39, together. So if we looked at 39 and we counted back by 1, it would come out to 38. So it would come out to the same answer. Have a think about that and see which one works best for you. Now let's have a look at one more example. Suppose now we have the number 8000 and 47. So we got 8047. Now on this side the question is what is 100 more than 8047? Now again the same principles apply. We got two zeros so therefore the 4 and the 7 are not going to change and the hundreds is going to go up by 1. Don't forget, we're counting forwards. 
So therefore, the answer becomes 8,147. It is this that has changed from 0 to 1. And that is correct. 100 more than 8,047 is 8,147. Now on this side, a little bit tricky, we're going to look at what is 100 less than 8,047. Now again, well we're going to count backwards, let's just do the first step there. Now we've got two zeros here, therefore the 4 and the 7 are not going to go back by anything, they're going to remain the same. As for the 1, we're going to go back by 100. Because this is a zero, what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two together. Don't forget, this number here we can either say is eight thousands and zero hundreds, or we can say it is eighty hundreds. Eighty hundreds. So therefore, eighty count back by one. The answer is seventy-nine. And don't forget the four and the seven do not change. So 100 less than 8,047 is 7,947. And that is correct. So that is how we do more than and less than of hundreds with numbers up to 10,000. Have a review of this tutorial again to make sure that you fully understand when we are looking at just hundreds or when we are combining the thousands and the hundreds together.